Hi, Aries Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine from Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign and the zodiac sign of Aries. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread of love, money, and you. And then clarifying those three cards. I'm also going to do an overall card at the end of your reading using the Golden Tarot Major Arcana deck. I have already pre-shuffled all of the decks here, so we'll just go ahead and move these off to the side here. Um, let me move that side around out. Okay, let's get to your first, first card for your love section for Aries Moons. This is really exciting. I feel like this is divine timing of a two of cups that's coming through because you've had patience, you've stayed connected and grounded. You're a very blessed individual who's designed to be here when it comes to love, very specially. With the red wings that I'm seeing, I'm just getting not being connected to your Aries energy. With the color of Mars being your ruler and strong representation here. I'm also seeing a sun energy here at the crown and that's giving me the energy of enlightenment we do also have this is so bomb this is a card of sagittarius but overall i'm this just being about you um the symbol of fire being present there too and that also being red you may have leo energy in your chart even sagittarius and what i'm seeing is that you've put an energy of a certain king behind you And gone on a new path, trusted your intuition, trusted your spirit team, trusted your spirit guides. Have learned lessons from this situation and have now been connected from head to toe is also what I'm getting. Where this has also been a healing process as well. With the fire, the amount of fire that's coming through here. This is getting like a burning, burning of the old way. There being some enlightenment with that sun. I'm also seeing sun energy surrounding this crown. So there being an awakening, uh, excuse me, an awakening experience, an enlightenment situation, rebirth possibly here too, connected to a king energy or a queen energy. I'm just getting an overall feminine energy with this. Where a lot of you, um, if you're resonating as a, a female, may have been dealing with the king. It could be vice versa, though. Take what resonates. But the overall message I'm getting is because you've had patience. You did what you needed to do. Um, this is Spirit's way of letting you know that um, what's meant for you is coming through. It's always there for you. It's just a matter of this divine timing here. Transformative energy also being a part of that 14 coming together to create a five and then even a three. Five being a loyalty commitment. I'm getting here front contract connected to this, having the keys, being a great spiritual leader. And then with the three energy, I was getting three of pinnacle, that being connected to your craft, skill, craftsmanship, great craftsmanship, and collaboration as well. So someone Coming through connected to a two of cup that's very loving. This being manifested here for you now that something has been left behind. You've become stronger in your game here, being very connected. I L O V E this. That's super pretty. And this could actually be about a true twin that's coming through where you may be connecting with someone and finding that you have a, a whole lot in common. 
there's a, a lot of similar energy where you could even be mirroring each other, have very similar situations, having conversation and discovering that you have a lot in common. You're very much aligned and um, coming out of certain situations. Again, leaving behind what does not serve in order to come into a two of cup. That's being beautifully manifested for you and it does have water in between it. Um, in this major arcana deck, there's a very similar energy with the two cups being used, but there's no water in between it. So that's where I was getting that from. But there's a lot of great love and great exp uh, expressions of feeling that are connected to this. Two of cup also being reciprocity. And it being exclusive, it being about, you know, something being really exclusive and just between you two. Both of you, um, if this is about a coming together, if you're single, may have um, overcome successfully the energy of third party situations. And as I say that, that three energy that was coming from the one and the four, taken away from each other to create that three now manifesting collaboration after coming out of Three of Swords energy, possibly even Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll move on to your money section for Aries Moon. One card, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. And I do feel that this is about a past person who may want to try to um, be a part of your reading. I think I'm going to get another card because I do feel some infiltration with this. So there may be someone that you may have left behind and now manifesting something and this being felt where you may still even be um, soulfully connected to this person and then possibly wanting to vie for your attention, giving you excuses or letting you know that they've made changes from within themselves where I feel that um, for you, it's, it's too late. We're a very abundant situation. I'm not even getting this being connected to career. This just being about money and abundance and stability. Because I'm even seeing with this reversal nine energy, these Roman numerals also create a four when this uh, one is on the other side. When it comes to the four, like what I'm seeing right there, I'm getting this energy here, even though that's not that for some for some reason, that's just what I'm getting. Um, and with me getting that four, I'm also getting the nine taken away from the four is a five energy. It's even the energy of 13. And so that's uh, giving me the death card energy. Something being over, possibly connected to a Scorpio too. But with that five, I'm getting that being about a contract. And a contract that's over. Like even this whole reversal energy, I'm just getting something being over. Cups being dumped over. Where it may have been purposeful to um, try to hurt you. Someone with their arms crossed, not speaking their truth, seeing all that blue, having the red at the um, at the crown. Like I'm seeing very similar energy. Like I just feel you had someone um, who may have been, you know, twin flame esque, or possibly may have been a twin flame, and you making a decision to move away from this, and because of that, um, they possibly. Um, didn't take you seriously. I thought you were playing, but you're not. 
So I'm going to get, um, and cups is water energy too. So the more of that Scorpio energy is coming through connected to that as well. This is uh, energy of nine with the Sagittarius energy and even 11. I'm getting now seeing that coming to and out of the depths of what I just got from this card. Um, justice. And even the strength card. Um, in some decks, the strength card is represented by the number 11. And then in some decks, it's also the justice card. So they're kind of intermingle when it comes to that energy. Which is super interesting. And I do feel that that Scorpio energy is also very significant where you've been able to navigate your way out of a particular maze connected to this person because they're just all over the place um, underneath the surface. And I feel you've made this discovery and decided that because it's that energy of feeling all over the place and not being outright and upfront, you've received the information, the download that you needed, the awareness, it being brought to light, what's come through connected. And I do feel seeing that energy of the uh, almost like purple hills, but the blue hills in the back or even the mountains being connected to this energy here. And even the path from that person being connected to the blue waters here too as well. All right, let's get another card here. For Aries moons in the love section, or excuse me, money section. One card. One card for Aries moons for the money section. Aries moons. I just saw the three of swords. Aries moon. There's a strange card. We have those that came out together. And then this stack. I mean, dang, I only got so much time here. <laughs> All right. So I'm just seeing... This being connected to what I was just speaking about, mentioning the strength card, connected to the justice, coming through, connected to this particular energy that wanted to come through as a part of your reading, where I feel a contract connected to abundance and wish fulfillment was a part of uh, a soulmate connection with this person. Um, but what I'm now seeing um, as well with the Leo energy, this being a card of Leo, is that there's a interplaying energy here and bringing a cycle to the close. I feel that you may have been in an over-controlling situation with someone connected to money and you realizing that you're able to bring in what it is that you need for yourself without the assistance or support of anyone who's trying to be vindictive and controlling. You're a magician. And I say that because I'm seeing this energy here with the white that was a part of the mirroring energy connected to this person. That is a part of this temperance energy here of you manifesting and bringing it into a cup. Because you closed the door on a bestiality type energy. There's those hills, the blue and it's blue and purple here too. Just as I was picking up. But this being behind one is also what I'm getting there too. So then the next set. We have that energy of the judgment. This breaking down to a two. Where this is even more of an awakening, an awakening energy here. Reaping what one has been selling. This also being the end towards a manifesting cycle here. Wow, look at that. There's the five energy. Five of swords. Very deceptive behaviors. And anything that's been done in the wrong towards you or connected to you is being called upon by spirit. You can see even more of these red wings, but I feel that this is just speaking to you being a part of an angel clan here. The African-American flag is here. 
where I do feel, um, you know, it may be a designated purpose as to why it is that you're here in the way that you are. And you don't have to be African-American or even a person of color, but you are a part of a very special tribe that makes you very unique to who it is that you are, but you also share this energy with certain other individuals who are here for very similar reasons. Just not the same as yours, but very similar in this making, you know, a tribe what it is when it comes to a tribe. So um, I'm also seeing the energy of the awakening, waking the dead, this being a part of your purpose, possibly here too. Coming along individuals here to close certain karmas, being strong, and overcoming successfully, things being brought to light, and being dealt with accordingly. You no longer um, being a part of this energy. I'm just getting, oh, look at all this. Oh boy. This is messy boots. I don't feel that this is your energy. I feel that this is who you left behind. Messy boots, messy boots, messy boots. <laughs> We have the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, the Four of Cups upright, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. So I'm getting very strong Scorpionic energy. The Emperor is your card, but I don't feel that this, again, I don't feel that this is you. With the Nine of Wands in reverse, I'm getting this as not being successful. And overcoming situations connected to a 501 and also having trouble moving forward and manifesting when they had a new beginning here. Taking something for granted. There's that nine energy again. And they're both in reverse. So very similar energies, nine and nine. I'm getting that being connected again to a part of some contract and it just not being honored. And not being honored because someone had too many hands in the pot. Was making offers to individuals um, where they had the chance. I feel that you're this cup. And these are three other individuals here. This is that third party energy also too. is getting uh, connected to the three of swords. And this being about indulgences low vibrational behaviors and notice too the red energy is also not in the root chakra area just as it's not in the root chakra area here either it's at the crown it's completely it's a block crown someone not able to see the truth or not um choosing to listen to themselves or their intuition or to do the work that's necessary they would rather rely on others to get the supply of what it is that they need in order to be this emperor here and that's not how you function you function in this upright energy. And so I just feel that um, spirit has made more clear and evident the truth of a situation for you so that you can do what's best for you and really put a close to that particular energy of the bestiality where I'm now seeing that being here. With the two feminine energies and the emperor, someone taking advantage of their status and position and abusing it completely um, by spreading their, what was that in coming to America? Sowing the royal oats <laughs> a little bit too much and that just not being your cup of tea. Not what you stand for and, um, and not being of integrity. I'm also seeing too, this possibly being the two feminine energies for those of you that resonate as the feminine. The two feminine energies here, um, I'm getting as, you know, this emperor possibly here behaving in this way, but there's just being some kind of abuse here. It just being completely low vibration. Uh, this being, uh, the energy of ungroundedness, stinginess, attachments to money, not knowing how to take care of money, not being a great nurturer, warm, nada, 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 nada. Queen of Swords, kind of in the same energy. Someone very much stuck in the past. Um, possibly feeling as if, you know, they're a part of some competition here when it comes to you. And I feel you're above and beyond this. You're not even present. That's also what I'm seeing here. 
But someone who likes to fight. Like someone could come up to them to give them a compliment. And as soon as they say one word, off with their heads. Like they use that sword and just slice into whoever because they're so offensive. Always on the offense. And this emperor that I feel is connected to you that is also a part or was connected and is a part of that five of sword and what it is that you moved on from. Has a gang of biashes. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Sorry. We're going to move on. This is too much. And the opportunity being this one cup here that they did not take. Judgment coming through connected to that. So again, I just, if someone's wanting to hold on to you and resonate in your reading, they're going to be seen for the truth because you've moved on into some new, with the new to a cup. And new abundance that's coming through here for you too. Let's leave this on top because this is where you're at creating for yourself and being a great magician. Causing great confusion, having too many options, very overwhelming energy with that emperor energy and that story that just came out. And I'm hearing, don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. Let's get to your you section for Aries Moon. Someone possibly wanting to cause confusion for you so that they could keep doing what they were doing. Okay. So um, we have the Page of Cups and we have the King of Wands. And I still don't, I feel that this is who you're trying to move away from. So continue to um, persevere and utilize your power in the best way you know how for yourself. They're spying on you. However that way may be, they're spying. And I feel it's a part of this reading here. So let's go ahead and get a card for you. We're going to leave these out. That King of Wands is a part of that player energy connected to the Emperor. And then the Page of Cup is the immaturity of a person where they could be a Gemini. Have strong Gemini in their chart. And they're completely busted. Let's get a U card for Aries Moons. I ain't even gonna have no time to do my clarifiers, y'all. Yeah, it's over. No longer resisting. You're over the stealing, the deception, the lying, the betrayal, the backstabbing. There's the five of swords. Two of swords of indecision because that person had too many damn peoples. Too many damn hands in the pot. The news is that it's over. This you being right here in the center. Getting over fixed energies very strongly by using your magician powers connected to both abundance, money, and love. But I feel that this is overall like speaking to spirit, really supporting you, keeping you protected and safe, helping you to bring about 10 endings here where it could have been two ten of swords energies. You being the strong Gemini and the magician here, having that from within your chart where I'm seeing two wands being held here being able to bring certain cycles here to a close. And you see that line here? We have that same line right there. So this is also helping with your confidence and you just being very graceful, being very vulnerable, seen for your truth, being the truth. You have nothing to hide. King of Swords on the bottom. They are really showing their ass. <laughs> and don't care. They don't have boundaries. They're very disrespectful. And that's all I'll say about that. Um, we'll go ahead and leave this since they want to be seen in your reading. For who it is that they are. This is a counterpart energy to that Queen of Swords that was a part of that um, messy boot situation as well. With the player energy and the immaturity. Let's get to your clarifiers and we'll clarify the temperance card. High Priestess Reverse and the Five of Swords Reverse. 
the high priestess in reverse i feel that this is you looking right at the knowing of that five of sword and willing your way out of that situation because you don't want that it being over you may be reflecting on what it is that you've gone through in the meantime in between time and as you're healing from this someone that tried to you know really bring it to you here where i'm seeing that ribbon yellow being gemini energy Healing being four sword here. And I just feel that this sword here is not really connected to an ace of sword, but just a sword in general that tried to, you know, tear you apart. It being over. And you seeing the truth of a situation here now that it is over. What, what you put behind you, this is what I'm seeing. And that yellow, again, um, with that reversal King of Swords here, that also being the Gemini energy, but even with the two card, where I was getting dual energy of a Gemini person here, being even more confirmed here about who that person is. And that just going back to what you put behind you here and are now manifesting and bringing in for yourself. All right, let's clarify the money section here for you for Aries Moons. And I don't feel that that's your energy either. Let's say Eight of Cups Reverse. This came out for the Pisces reading. We have the hangman in reverse here too. And this also came out for the Pisces reading. With the very same damn energy. This is awesome. Um, the lesson is in the walking away from what does not serve. Someone really does not want to let go of you. But again, they're being seen for their truth. And you've made your decision as final. And there's nothing that can be done about that because it's your free will, your choice. So let's go ahead and we'll get one more clarifier for the money section for you as this beautiful strength energy for Aries Moons. I feel you just continue to keep going knowing that spirit's protecting you along your path here. Clarify for Aries Moons. The money section. Five of Pentacles reverse. I'm saying that's a great energy to have in the money section. No longer in lack mentality. You are bringing in your rightful abundance. And anything that may have tried to block that with the messy boots and their bullshit. Pentacles is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And this is also another reversal five. That I'm getting connected to that five of sword reverse, but then also that upright five of sword. Speaking to what is now over. Let's clarify your you section. Clarify the you section for Aries moons. There it is again. King of Wands again. Queen of Wands. What could have been is no longer, I feel, <laughs> I just, I feel this. Um, King of Wands is facing right towards the face here. Queen of Wands, I feel, is moving on. I'm seeing that moving on energy, taking their wand, manifesting new, connected to abundance, both being very abundant energy. High Priestess energy I'm seeing connected to, I'm getting a lot of you being this Queen of Wands here because we did have the deceptive energy of a King of Wands here. But it just showing, you know, what is over. What had great potential to be a strong connection that was also possibly here Twin Flame, as I said before, with the two fire energies. You got a King of Cup coming through. Who's very loving. Who's not going to be this player energy, tilting of the crown, on pimp status. Very much in their ego. 
you're beyond this. You've moved past this. This is not, I feel, you know, you've been at a certain level and now you're leveling up. Still being this queen of wands, but just being on a different level as far as what these court cards mean. I'm just feeling, and I feel this is a dark energy speaking to your light energy. You coming out of the darkness towards more love. Very loving energy, a very loving person who's very lovable. Could be a water sign. They love the water. They love loving. They love sharing. And that's what you're about. And I feel that this is the water and ice energy that I was getting with the snowman energy. Um, coming through heavy. I got snowman right here. <laughs> uh, I was getting that strong for you for this reading here. Um, but I don't feel that these are connected. I feel this is speaking to what's coming through for you now. That you're moving on. It was too fiery here. You realizing this and realizing you possibly weren't getting love either. I'm seeing the blue energy in the eyes that just gave me the energy of manifesting water. Let's get to your final card for Aries Moons. All right, now, y'all. Go on, Aries Moons. <laughs> One card. We got two. We have the Hermit in reverse. And then we have Les Etoiles. We have the stars. Which come true and through. So I feel that this is about the enlightenment being over. You coming out of the shadows. No longer having to go really deep within to make a great discovery about what's best for you. You found it. You've been patient. Time's gone by. There's that nine energy in the reverse. You removing yourself from that nine energy, that reversal energy of that nine. And having a wish come true and through here for you. It could be too that that energy here is of a certain status. We have the chariot in reverse. I'm getting this being about overcoming and already going through a cycle, but also not putting any more energy into what does not serve you as well. That's being a card of seven, connected to balance. There's been imbalance, too much being stuck in the past. Something's been overcome for you and you're completely over it and moving on and receiving your wish. Card of prosperity with the 17 creating an eight. Healing and the antidote as well after a, uh, a tower moment here. So Aries Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.